what is candlestick. So what is candlestick? A candlestick is a style of financial chart used to describe price movement of a security, derivative or currency. Candlestick are used by traders to determine possible price movements based on past patterns. Candlestick are useful when trading as they show four price points, the open, the close, the high and the low throughout the period of the time the trader specifies. This is represented by the following picture. So you can see in this picture, we have two candlesticks here. We have the green and the red. You can see this particular candle looks like the normal candle we have with a body and a wick. We call this wick in the forex market. But your normal candle, we call this body and thread. So you can see this is how the candlestick looks like. This particular candle is a bullish candlestick. And this particular one is a bearish candlestick. A bullish is always green, while a bearish is always red. Bullish means the market opens here, closes here, while bearish means it opens above and closes below. I will explain this better in the next slide. So types of candlestick. We have the bullish candlestick and we have the bearish candlestick, just as I mentioned earlier. So bullish candlestick. Bullish candlestick, also known as bull candle or green candle or a buy candle. It is formed when a candlestick opens below and closes above, which is caused by high demand and low supply in the market. The color is mostly presented with a green color. So this is an example. So this is a bullish candlestick. Bullish candlestick. Bull. They derive this name from a bull. If a bull eat an object it will push that object up so in the forex packet when the price of a currency or a price of a commodity is going up we call it bullish because the price is bullish so the price open here and closes here assuming we have a bag of rice at the price of ten dollar so the price of that bag of rice opens at ten dollar for that day and closes at thirty dollar for that day so that means that price has increased but before that the price opens here yeah, then went down to this low then after that it went up to this level then it closes here so you can see the market opens here and closes here assuming you buy into rice you buy like 100 bags of rice at this level at the rate of ten dollar each and at the end of the day the price goes up to like maybe twenty dollars that means you've made 100 percent on what you invested for that day so you buy at the price of ten dollar and now you are selling it at the price of twenty dollars so the price is bullish uh, so this is still the bullish as i explained earlier sometimes we use different color we use green we use blue it depends on you it depends on the trader i love using green some traders use blue some traders use black so you can decide on your own the color you want to use so you can see this is a small bullish candle it opens here and closes here but you know what it first went down after opening here it first went down to this level then went up to this level and closed at this price the next day it opens here went down made a move up closes here the next day it opens went down went up closes here next day it opened went down went up closes here what do you notice all of this candlestick they open below and closes above you can see this one also open here and closes above so all these candlesticks are bullish candlestick so bearish candlestick bearish candlestick also known as bear candle or red candle or a cell candle it is formed when a candlestick open above and closes below which is caused by high supply and low demand in the market the color is mostly represented with a red color. So a bearish candlestick is opposite of bullish candlestick. They came up with this bearish candlestick, which is the name, using a bear. When a bear attacks an object, it will, it will push or pin the object down. It will pin the object down. So in the forex market, when a price of a commodity or a currency a above closes below, we call that bearish candle. You can see this price open here and closes here. Assuming the next day the price of bag of rice is $20, it opens at the price of $20. Then at the end of the day, it closes at 
ten dollars. So that means the market has lost strength, right? The price has lost strength, right? So the candlestick is now bearish. So it opens here, went up to this level, made a move down and closes here. Right? This is the high, this is the low, but this is the opening price and this is the closing price. So you can see, just as I said earlier. The, the candlestick opens here, went up, made a move down and closes here. The next day it opens, went up, made a move down and closes here. The next day it opens, went up, went down and closes here. So all these candlesticks are all bearish candlestick. So candlestick body and wick. Candlestick has two parts. It has the body and it has the wick. Every candle, they all have this. They have both the body and the wick. We call this wick. We don't call it thread. This is the body of the candle. Why right? this is the wick of the candle? You can see this is the body and this is the wick. There is wick above. There is wick below. So opening and closing price. So this particular candlestick opens here and closes here. Then the next day it opens here and closes here. So this is how the market really move. When the price of a commodity or currency pair open at this level, sometimes it will make a move up, come down, then close. So this is scenario one. This is scenario two. It may open at that level, make this move down, make another move up, then close. So for you to now draw this, for you to now get this in a candlestick form, you can see this is open. Let's use this scenario one here. Right, it's open. Made they move up, made they move down, then closes. That's scenario one. For the scenario two, it's open at that level, made they move down, made they move up, then closes here. So this is the process this candlestick went through. It went through either this or this in the market.